Hello everyone, this is Jokul10, and what you see in front of you is no joke. This is LEGO World Builder, one of the best games to ever grace the LEGO website. It is an awesome uh, building strategy puzzle, just all around a great game um, from the early 2000s. It is not easy to find this game, um, or at least a working version of it, so, um, but I will post a link in the description as to where, um, you can download this game, and if you guys want a tutorial as to how to get to work, um, you, uh, I will post it, just leave a comment, and I'll make a video as to how to actually get this game to work, um, and so you can play it if you wish. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, yeah, it's a, I started brand, I was able to get a brand new game start here. So we're going to go ahead and go over the tutorials here. Um, if you don't know how to play this game, definitely uh, check out the tutorial here. I'm just going to rush through it. That's true, because I know what I'm doing. Um, so anyway, so basically every level starts off with the world. Um, I'll explain how all this works in a minute, in a little bit. Um, yeah. Yep. There we go. And showing how to take it apart. Rebuild it. And yeah, the info... So yeah, so you, the control for this game is your obviously your cursor. Um, and yeah. Oh, got to click finish. Okay, so um, you can use this uh, first world here to sort of practice. So basically, I'm going to explain how this works. So Basically, every level you start off with at least one thing available, whether it's built or not. Basically, um, you can use these arrow buttons to kind of scroll around the world. In every in every mission, the world is going to be different. So, um, it's going to be a different world for every mission, and it's going to be as such. And you can see a little mini-map up here showing uh, showing different features and basically the red dots on the map are things that you have control over so you click on an item to take control of it and then if each one of these six by four tiles here is considered one space and so if you click on a tile your character will move to that space as long as nothing is blocking uh the path now um if you check the info of a character, you can see um, what everything does. So basically, this is this green tile here is considered normal terrain. This tile here with the rocks is considered rocky terrain. You'll notice that the that these vehicles that we've access to cannot travel on rocky terrain, um, but other vehicles and stuff will be able to. These are trees. We'll worry about those later. And these are bricks, which you can use to build stuff with. Um, so basically, um, the 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 premise of this game is to be to find the mission markers. So you'll see that the bonus goal, we already completed the main goal, so we have the bonus goal, which is the buggy at that location. Usually the goal will be um, to get a certain thing to a, a specific tile. So let's go ahead and do mission two here. So uh, you click on the item, and this one here is basically just kind of a practice as to the movement. So if you want to practice uh, moving your vehicle around, this is a good level to do that. And as you can see, the mission goal here is anything at the location. Um... So you can move the buggy around. You can also use this opportunity if you want to uh, click on a plant and build stuff. So these slots here will have your plans. And 
Um, this is the plan, and this number here shows you how many models you can build. And this number will be different depending on how many plans you have. And uh, so basically, to to be able to use it, you have to have the bricks in order to use it. So 10 red bricks, 4 wheels, and 1 power brick. Now the power, I'll explain what how the power works later. Basically, your actions... Um, don't worry about moving the move action. You can just click on a tile to move there. Um, but the other action, which in this case, the buggy can pick up bricks. But we'll worry about that later. So let's just practice moving here. And of course, we want to go for the bonus goal. And we want to go here. And that's mission two. So pretty simple, but trust me, this game starts easy but it gets uh, difficult um later on so it will be it will not always be this easy so this one here is going to be a practice of how to build so this here is a plan as you can see we have access to a buggy right now and this is what this is a plan so in order to pick up a plan you need to have an a vehicle or something that you control that's able to move be able to um, get to this tile and pick up the plan. So if we click on the tile and the buggy gets to that tile, it picks up the plan. So now we can build the dirt buggy. As you can see, um, the dirt buggy requires 10 yellow bricks, 4 wheels, and 1 power brick, which we have right here. So we build the dirt buggy there, and you'll see that the mission goal here is anything. Now the dirt buggy, you'll notice, is very similar to the buggy, except you'll see that um, that the dirt buggy can travel on the rock terrain. So it can travel on these rock tiles, um, which the buggy cannot. So the dirt buggy can travel on the rock, rock tiles, which means he can go here. Now you'll see that the bonus goal here is getting to the buggy to the spot. We can't move the buggy there. If you check, the buggy won't move. So what you have to do is you have to take your dirt buggy here and you have to take apart the buggy and you have to move the bricks and this is good practice because you will have you will be required to move bricks around um, and uh, you can move when your vehicle has bricks on it too that's um, noteworthy so and you will be in yeah so build the buggy and then you can move to the tile there. You can move the bricks to pretty much any tile as long as it's normal terrain. You cannot place bricks onto rocky terrain. Um, we'll also see water terrain later on. So now this one here is pick up and carry. So this one here requires anything there. So obviously we're going to need to build something there. So let's go ahead and pick up our plan here. And as you can see we can we have access to a dirt buggy. Now, as you can see, we have 10 yellow bricks here, a power brick here, and four wheels here. So what we want to do is we want to be able to pick up these bricks. And you can pick up bricks on a tile that you're standing on, too. And you can drop off bricks. And then... You can drop off the bricks there. As you can see, there's two wheels left. So pick those up. Just an effort of sort of saving time, not really kind of saving, saving maybe a trip. I don't know if it really does, but... So yeah, the goal here is anything. And now this goal here is a duck. Now this one here... As you can see, is water train. You'll notice that it has studs on it, like the normal train does. That means that you can place bricks onto this tile here. If we pick up this plane here, you'll notice that we can now build the duck, which requires t five yellow bricks and one power brick. So if we move the dirt buggy here by the water, um, then what you can do is you can take apart the dirt buggy and you can build the duck either here or here. You'll see that when uh, you have the plane, you can build within a 3x3 three three tile area. 
So as long as you have all the bricks required. So and you see that we can even build the duck in the water if we want to. So if you build the duck, you'll see that the duck can travel on normal terrain and also water because it's obviously um you know a water creature. So we can move the duck onto water and this is shallow water. Later on there will be deep water and that will be different. We'll see that when we come across it. So now the next one is called take apart the duck. This one's pretty straightforward. You'll see that the goal here is anything. So we want to grab the plane and you'll see that we have a dirt buggy. And you'll notice that we have only have five yellow bricks, four wheels, and one power brick. Which we need ten to build the dirt buggy, so we can't build it. Well, like the mission says, we want to be able to take apart the duck. So you can take apart the duck pretty much anywhere as long as it's next to these bricks. Take apart the duck on this pile here. So take apart the duck, build the dirt buggy. And now you want to grab the goal. And now for the bonus goal, you'll see that you have to build a duck here. Now you can't, or you can take apart the dirt buggy on rocky tile. Um, but it's better to take apart the dirt buggy here and then build the duck right here onto the bonus goal, like so. So we want to do the next one, which is our first puzzle level. This one here is going to require a bit of a bit of figuring now. You'll notice that the mission goal here is anything. Now you'll see that if we tried to build the dirt buggy here, you'll see that, like the mission says, we are one brick short, so we cannot actually build the dirt buggy. So what do we do? Well, if you scroll over here, you'll see that there's ten yellow bricks here a power brick and four wheels within a three by three square so we can actually build the dirt buggy right here and then grab this plan and now we can build a new vehicle which is called a tugboat so we build that there requires 15 blue bricks and one power brick if you check the info the tugboat can travel on water and deep water which we haven't seen yet but we'll get there later um, as you can see the tugboat can pick up five bricks instead of three like the buggy or dirt buggy. So now the tugboat can travel to this tile here and pick up this yellow brick right here and drop it off on this pile. And build the, now we can build the dirt buggy here and get the goal. Now for the bonus goal, grab this plan and we have a, a regular buggy here. So you notice if we scroll all the way over here, the bonus goal is buggy at this location. So we have to do some advantage. So now we have to do some brick moving. So we pick up the three reds and we can move over here, drop them off. And we do the same thing. Yeah, and this it, this this takes a little bit, but trust me, the uh, the main goal, the the bonus goal is is generally going to be more challenging than the main goal is. Not always. Sometimes the bonus goal will actually be easier than the main goal, but you always have to complete the main goal first before you can do the bonus goal. This is how this works. And we're done with that. So, as you can see, we have now completed the first six missions in World Builder. So that will be the end for this next episode. Uh, for this episode, next episode, we will continue World One and see if we can beat some more of these missions. And trust me, they are going to get harder because there's going to be some more elements that will be. Um, added to this game that's going to make it more challenging. So uh, that'll be it for this episode. So until next time, this is Joe Cool 10 signing out.